All right. Hello, everybody. My name is Ian, and we have a new addition, Alec. Thank you for having me. Yes, yes. He's excited. We're both excited to be here. This is uh, Pick a Fit. Not sure what edition we're on. Haven't done it in a while, but hey, glad to be back. So let's hop right into it. What's up, guys? My name is Alec, and I'm here with Ian's Fit for today. Um, Ian is, uh, as you guys might already know, he has a very loud personality and he's very colorful. So I tried to uh, replicate that in the fit that I chose out for him today. So today I went with the Needles Argyle Mohair cardigan and it's got these cool little diamonds going on. And, you know, it's pretty sweet looking. It's really soft. Second, for the undershirt, I went with the Beams Panel Corduroy um, collared shirt. <laughs> And, uh, you know, there's a, you know, it's just a splash of various different colors here. And then for glasses, I went with the, uh, the Moscots and these are called the Dobbins and they're in the Sapphire colorway for pants. I went with the, uh, Navy utility pants from Orslo. Um, they're not stark black. They got some nice little, they got a nice little wash to them and, uh, you know, it doesn't take itself too seriously, and for that reason, I really like them. Lastly, for the shoes, these are the 1461 Rapello Calf Suede's, and they got a two-tone colorway going on, and uh, we're going to try it on and see what happens. <laughs> Oh, here it is. Artist, <laughs> masterpiece, what do y'all think? Um, I give props to Alec for doing something I never would have chosen ever, these pieces together. Insane. Um, <laughs> but now that it's all on, I'm not hating it at all. Uh, it's definitely up there with one of my favorite fits I've been put in for this series. Um, I love the blues. I love the dress shoes, collar, cardigan type of vibe. Um, kind of like somewhere between Wacky Professor and Willy Wonka. And yeah, I, I mean, overall, big pants, it's, it's dope. Uh, I like it. I know all eyes would be on me and most people would not be comfortable wearing something like this. But you chose the right guy to try it on and uh, I appreciate it. I'm going to give you... Uh, I'm gonna give you a A minus B plus. Oh, let's the, go. The crowd can decide for me <laughs> to choose the, either of the two. Um, but yeah, I mean, anything you would have changed, anything you particularly like, or, or having a good laugh about. Well, something I didn't actually notice is um, this purple thing going on makes it kind of look like a tie. Yeah, and, uh, I don't put hate it. All it. The it way looks up. good. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. My favorite part I think is gonna be the cardigan with the glasses. Um, the pant shoe combo is pretty dope as well. I, w I wouldn't have put like a lighter shoe like that, but I think it kind of, it adds to the intensity of the outfit. And I think once you go this far, you gotta go <laughs> all the way. And uh, I think my brother here accomplished that. So Thank you. I'm excited for you to put on what I did for you. And uh, hopefully you feel just as good as yeah, I do. I'm excited, let's see it. Yeah, yeah. All right. Hello, hello, hello. To my right here, I have a wonderful outfit picked out for my good friend, Alec. Um, he is, one of the newer co-workers here at Canoe Club, and it is his first time doing a pick a fit. So I wanted to put him in something very nice, very hip, very cool, so we don't scar him and he doesn't want to do it ever again. So <laughs> hopefully he likes what I picked out for him. Um, but starting off, I've got these capital slip-ons, the Navajo slipper, I think is what it's called, with the cool frills. Went with black, didn't want anything too crazy going on. I do think the black is the most wearable version of those as well um, it's not so in your face and I know the black will work with the jacket in this outfit as well um, moving upwards we'll kind of just start with what's closest to me here too um, for accessories I have this capital 
uh, Denim Men Loves Cats Trucker. I went with this one for the purple bill, kind of ties in with the purple on that cardigan over there. I'm not sure how I feel about this kind of cream tan top. I'm not sure if it's too light for me, but we'll see. Maybe I'll have them take it off if it's a little too much. Next, I have this awesome patchwork stole by Capital. It's like got this kind of vintage feel to it with all the different patches on it. I chose this for the faded green. I think that kind of goes with the pants. A lot of my outfit is like colors complementing each other. Um, that's different purples, different greens, different blacks. Um, so hopefully that'll work. I think the Sherpa might help with this kind of light color of the hat that might actually bring it together. But kind of going for a winter outfit here as well. Lots of layers, lots of accessories. Keep out of the cool and warm in the cold frigid temperatures of Boulder, Colorado. Um, moving on, I apologize if I'm going really fast. I haven't done one of these in a while. Uh, I had this flight pant by Engineered Garments. Nice and big, baggy, lots of pockets, kind of cargo style. Um, obviously the greens playing off each other there. But yeah, uh, I think that'll be a cool look, kind of with the rest kind of big on the bottom with some open jackets and layers that you can see. And moving on to that jacket, I have this document piece. I'll take this one off for you. This is like some form of like a bomber. That's it, that's like the first thing it reminds me of is a bomber, but it has kind of its own little twist to it. We kind of love what Document did here. I really love these dark wood buttons. I think that kind of adds an extra level to it. The shimmy shininess of the kind of satiny bomber. And yeah, I'm gonna have him wear this open so you can see all the layers underneath. And it does list itself as dark navy, but we're pretending it's black, because to me, I can't really see the navy in there. But a true navy is one that is hard to tell, so. <laughs> um, next, I have this Howland sweater, or Howland cardigan. Went with the purple colorway. I just love, in person, the color variance on this is beautiful. There's a lot of different, there's blues in there. There's almost some like oranges and tans, but this all comes together to make this really nice, deep textured purple. This plays off the bill of the hat. And yeah, I think this is gonna be kind of what brings it all together. And then, like I said, it's winter, so nice wool undergarments keep you warm with the layers. And before I get to the t-shirt, um, I chose these Lem Tosh purple nurple lenses, I think is what they call it. And don't make fun of me because that's actually what it says on the label. This is the Lem Tosh purple nurple. Purple there, purple here, pur ugh, purple here. You already got the theme. And then the final piece is this country hardball t-shirt. I like the way it kind of goes with the purple, even though you won't be seeing the sleeves because it's going to be underneath everything. I really just chose this so the green lettering can come out and complement the rest of the green in the outfit. So hopefully I didn't botch it. Hopefully Alec really um, enjoys what I picked out for him. I actually think it'll look pretty cool. So let's put it all together and see what we got. Call the fire department. This dude's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I certainly love it. Um, I'm a huge fan of the baggier stuff lately. Uh, maybe it was resembling in the fit that I picked out for you, but um, it's uh, it's definitely a little out of the box for me. The stole is something that I wouldn't typically wear every day, but um, you know, it works. Yeah. My only gripe with it is that it sits a little high on the shoulders and this guy. Kinda restricts my neck movement a little bit yeah but, uh, that's why it goes it goes hard and I, <laughs> you could put it in neck brace uh, mode if you yeah. want but uh <laughs> no, <laughs> no definitely a big fan um i think the colors work together yeah yeah, yeah. uh-huh it seems like if i'm walking down the street 
people are gonna be like, oh, that guy has it like that. It seems so. Uh, yes, thank everybody. You. This <laughs> is this is him. Um, I, if you'd like to meet him, here he is. Um, I would have to say, yeah. I, I I think what I was trying to execute on my mind worked out. I think it really works well on you. It's just something you should look into, kind of styling yourself. Uh -huh. And then uh, I know you're not the biggest accessory guy, but I feel like that always is a way to elevate something and put it to that next level. And I think the purple, it's, I mean, I no, personally absolutely. like it, but I need a grade from you. Mm -hmm. It's what you're No, it definitely, if that's what you were going for, it definitely gets the job done. Yep. Um, I would definitely give it B plus, A minus. Oh, I love it. Same, it's, same. It's, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. it's good. Oh, and then there's that, there's that green in there, everybody. <laughs> I'm very particular about everything. Uh, but hey, I think we both did a stellar job. My man, first time is beginner's luck. Maybe next time it's going to be terrible. Yeah, uh, we'll just see, kidding, we'll just kidding. He clearly uh, has a, a flip, vision. He sure. executed it. <laughs> um, and I, 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 had a, I had a lot of fun doing this no, with this you. This is great. Yeah. All right, guys, that uh, concludes our video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Yeah, don't forget, always let us know um, whose outfit you like better, if our grades worked out. Um, is, it is, is it mine? Who I'm knows? <laughs> and maybe anything you would have changed. You know, we're always open to feedback. And uh, once again, appreciate you guys always supporting and watching our videos. So cheers and happy new year to you.